A rape suspect was caught thanks uh, in part to an alert homeowner with a surveillance camera. She saw a suspicious man, checked the tape, gave it to police, and that led to an arrest. Smart. And now police in Allen Park are hoping that type of thinking can solve a lot more crimes. They tell Jason Colthorpe they're trying to make it happen by picking up the Extra She's Eyes program. When a burglar is casing an empty house, homeowners can be powerless. But a new program in Allen Park is not only catching some crooks, it's catching on. Extra Eyes is new to Allen Park, but it's not new. I borrowed the idea from Troy. I thought it was a great idea, a great concept that they had in regards to registering cameras within the city. Registering who has cameras, not having access to the video without permission. We're not Big Brother. A lot of concerns, safety issues and privacy concerns. We will never have access to your cameras, nor do we want access to your cameras. No way. The first person to sign up was Steve Randazzo the same day his house was robbed. He walked up looking at this camera, I mean, looked right at it, came over, jumped on our air conditioner, and came through this window here. With picture-perfect video, Thorburn posted it on the Allen Park Facebook page. Within eight minutes, I had a phone call. I know who it is. Well, how do you know? It's my brother, he's wearing my coat. Fantastic. And he was at a pawn shop yesterday. Pull the video. There he is, the pawn shop pawn on the stuff, the same day after he broke in. And I sincerely believe if we didn't have that information, this would have never been solved. It's that type of success that has Randazzo hoping others get on board to provide extra eyes watching out for the entire community. At least you can help the police and not just give them a blank piece of paper and hope for the best. That's a good point. Uh, when you sign up for the program, you get this decal, extra eyes. Take it, put it in a window or on the door, the idea is hopefully that or, of course, the security cameras will deter criminals when they're thinking about breaking and entering. It's not a, sh it's not a fix all, but hopefully it's a good first step. We're reporting live in Allen Park tonight. Jason Colthor of Local Port. Wearing Local his Port. brother's coat. How about that, too? And Jason, just curious, how did the yeah. case turn out with the burglar? Good news, bad news. Kim, the, the, he was just sentenced this week. You're in jail, plus a couple of years probation. However, they weren't really satisfied because they didn't get all of their stuff back. In yeah. fact, what they did get back, they had to buy back from the pawn shop. Oh, so. my goodness. Terrible. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jason, we appreciate it.